Hi there, I am Asad Habib here and today I am going to show you how to make this 3D chart animation in Blender. So if you don't know what is Blender, it is a free software which is used for 3D animation and modeling. You can get this software from Blender official website. It's free to use, anyone can download it and use it. So once you open this software, you will get this user interface in which this is 3D space that we can move around with the middle mouse pattern. And these are some tools that we use during the modeling and also this is object which we use and this is camera and lighting so without wasting any time let's get started so first of all we will delete this default cube because it has different transform properties first of all to go in uh, front view we will press a uh, one on numpad so it will get along along y z axis and x axis so to add a new object you can go to add and then object go to mesh and then object add any object you want so in this uh, tutorial i will add a cube because they are cuboidal structures so as you can see the origin point of this object is in the center so what we have to do we have to bring this here or move this object to here so to do that we will have to go in edit mode so press tab on keyboard uh, what i have to do go to this file frame mode and select all vertices and press g and z and move along the z, z axis to bring it here now we have to scale this down along the y and x axis and prevent it from z axis to do so we will press s and then press shift and z so it will not scale around z axis so in this way we can scale it round, round about here we have to make uh, it shorter press tab and select upwards go into wireframe now we'll bring it down to about here line about here and then press tab again to go into the object mode and press set and solid now we will move into the constant tab and go to constant and select copy scale press shift t it will duplicate and now you can move it uh, to give it little offset from the original one like here and select both of them press shift t and now they are more duplicated round about here and press shift t to move and then yeah so six are enough we have to select the second object and go go into the constant tab and select copy scale as a target we will select this first cube y and x axis so we will remove them and we will increase the power to 1.2 which means if we increase the scale of the first one to about one then this object will scale along the z axis then the scale of this object will increase with 1.2 factor if you increase the scale value of this target object then you can see this one is much higher than this one it is 1.2 factor more higher so we will apply the same constant to all other these and increase the factor by 0.2 by 0.2 so let's do it press ctrl z to back to undo the action now select this one add copy scale target first one you can also go and select here if you named properly and uncheck this and increase this 1.4 if we increase this you can see these are the offset is 0.2 for all of these cubes or you can go to one press one it will go to this crown place and now right click insert keyframes right here and go to the any frames you like like 70 and then you can increase the scale to round watch here and press i or press i on keyboard or just right click and select insert keyframe now if we move play this animation it will look like something like this